हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द लेसन नंबर सेकंड ऑफ द कोर्स नाइट्रोजन मेटाबॉलिज्म इन प्लांट्स प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी अपराजिता शंकधार इन द प्रीवियस लेसन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड दैट व्हाट इज नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन व्हाट आर द वेरियस काइंड ऑफ नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट अबाउट द एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन एंड इंडस्ट्रियल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन so in this uh, lesson we are going to study about the biological nitrogen fixation who carried out this carries out this nitrogen fixation so it must be carried out by some blue green algae like nostoc anabina or it may be carried out by symbiotic bacteria symbiotic bacteria means they form some uh, symbiotic association with the root of plants where the nitrogen fixation should be carried out an example includes rhizobium and it may also be carried out by some free living bacteria like azotobacter then see here this is a reaction of the biological nitrogen fixation this is the complete reaction which is uh, showing the whole process representing the following uh, representing the whole process of the biological nitrogen fixation as i already told you that nitrogen fixation means the conversion of unusable form of nitrogen into the usable form of nitrogen so that it can be utilized by the plant is known as nitrogen fixation so what is happening here that uh, dinitrogen is combining with 8 hydrogen ion 8 electrons in the presence of 16 atp and it gives the ammonia then hydrogen molecule and from 16 atp atp 16 the breakdown of 16 atp result in the formation results in the formation of 16 adp and 16 inorganic phosphates so so this was the reaction of biological nitrogen fixation for this nitrogen fixations to carried out there are certain requirements if these are not present then nitrogen fixation cannot be carried out the first one is nitrogenase what is nitrogenase the biological nitrogen fixation occurs in the presence of an enzyme which is known as a nitrogenase and this nitrogenase enzyme is present is found inside the nitrogen fixation procreotes we can say that this is present inside the nitrogen fixation micro micro organism one more uh, important thing about nitrogenase that it can it is a enzyme complex which consists of two metalloprotein first is iron protein and second one is iron molybdenum protein so we can say these are the two important part of nitrogenase and the presence of both these metalloprotein is essential to carry out the biological nitrogen fixation because none of these two components alone can catalyze the reduction of nitrogen to ammonia so the first requirement was enzyme nitrogenase the second requirement is a reducing equivalent or we can say a source of reducing agent which may be ferrodoxin or a flavoprotein means which can provide electrons these electrons for the reduction of nitrogen to the ammonia third requirement is the presence of atp and fourth is the protons are required so these are four requirements which are mentioned here first is an enzyme which is a nitrogenase second one is an reducing equivalent which may be ferrodoxin or flavodoxin third is atp and fourth one is protons are required most important thing should uh, that should be remembered is that uh, biological nitrogen fixation always takes place in an anaerobic conditions means if there are aerobic conditions no nitrogen fixation is going to take place so there must be anaerobic conditions should be there and nitrogenase enzyme complex is sensitive to oxygen so if there uh, if the nitrogen fixing organism is an anaerobic uh, anaerobic then there is no problem but if there are anaerobic uh, but the, if there are aerobic conditions are present it becomes mandatory to generate anaerobic condition to carry out the process of nitrogen fixation so these this 
एन एरोबिक कंडीशन इज जनरेटेड बाय एंजाइम व्हिच इज अ लेग हीमोग्लोबिन एंड इट इज मच मोर सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन बिकॉज इट एक्ट्स एज एन ऑक्सीजन स्केवेंचर मींस इट कैन कैप्चर ऑल द ऑक्सीजन प्रेजेंट to generate anaerobic condition for nitrogen fixation or we can say that leg hemoglobin creates anaerobic condition so that the nitrogenase enzyme complex can work and nitrogen fixation can be carried out and one more important thing that due to the presence of this leg hemoglobin the roots of plants appears somewhat pinkish in color so uh, here uh, is the pr process about which we have discussed that how the electrons uh, get transferred to um, nitrogen is uh, shown here first of all what happens that a reducing agent is present ferrodoxin or uh, flavodoxin get reduced and the electron are transferred to the iron protein from iron protein this uh, goes to iron molybdenum protein and from these iron molybdenum protein when it get reduced they goes to nitrogen and here nitrogen is uh, combining with eight hydrogen ion and eight electrons and it get reduced into ammonia and hydrogen molecule and for this the presence of magnesium is essential as i already i already told you that atp is also required and due to the breakdown of atp adp and inorganic phosphate are produced so two magnesium ion and two atp molecules are required per electron transferred during the process for the transfer of per electron two magnesium ion and two atp are required and the electrons for regeneration of reduced electron donor ferrodoxin or flavodoxin are provided by the cell metabolism that is pyruvate oxidation from where this ferrodoxin is coming it is is coming from that of the pyruvate oxidation and um, and a substantial amount of energy is lost by the microorganism in the formation of hydrogen molecule during the nitrogen fixation so this was uh, all about this lesson in the coming lesson we will study in detail about the symbiotic nitrogen fixation thank you very much have a nice day